Hi class, uh, welcome to lesson seven. So the main assignment you have this week is, um, let me pull it up here, is becoming a financial steward. Um, so you're going to have this lesson which discusses uh, basically five steps to become well there are five steps to becoming a steward but in this lesson you just learn to becoming unified in your approach to finances and understanding the importance of paying honest ties so you're going to go ahead and read this information about it and then the application activity is where you actually complete a um, family council about finances and so i want to just discuss that very quickly um what a fam the application activity and what that looks like for those who actually have families and those who are not married and live by themselves, those who are divorced. So the application activity is so found right here. You're going to click on that and you're going to find the template for the application activity. I'm also going to post it in uh, my announcements. But one thing I want to show you is that the application activity has directions for um, whether you are married or whether you are single, divorced. Um, so if you are in a family, you're going to want to counsel with your spouse and possibly your older children. Um, if you are single um, or divorced, uh, they want you to counsel with a roommate or um, with parents. So basically, they're wanting you to be accountable for your current financial situation. Um, and finances for my husband and I, when we were first married, were really difficult, at least for me, because I came from a family where my dad just spent whatever he wanted. And so when my husband and I first got married, um, I felt super guilty. He, he is a financial planner and I always felt really guilty for spending money. And so it took us talking and coming together um, on both his views and my views. So now really we have come together on a mixture of our financial views and now I don't cry every time I spend money and so I think it's really important that when you if you've never done a financial counsel or a family counsel about finances before uh, it can be a really difficult conversation and tough so it's okay if the first counsel is not perfect um, the purpose of doing this is so you can get started on understanding it. So basically, after you follow these instructions on the top, you have these uh, questions that you have to answer. So please answer these questions clearly and not one word answers. Um, each question probably should take two to three sentences, complete sentences to answer these. Um, okay. So just be honest in your answers and answer them clearly. Um, if you have any questions, I am here to help you.